Hey guys, I bet you think you've tried everything to improve your grades. I bet you think you've tried absolutely everything you can do to improve your revision. But there are a few really, really small, simple things that you can easily, easily do that are going to have a massive massive impact on your grade and I'm not talking about lifestyle changes here I'm not talking about things you're gonna have to do forever for the rest of your life I'm just talking about these last few weeks until the exams are over so I have a few top tips the last little bits that you can do to make sure you get the best grades you can in your upcoming exams Now my number one tip, and you are not going to like this, I know you're not going to like this, is delete all social media apps from your phone. Yes, all of them. Or put them onto a separate screen if you don't want to delete them because all those passwords. Put them onto a separate screen that you promise yourself you won't look at. Or just put your phone somewhere that you're not going to look at it. Now I know this is not going to be a very, very popular suggestion, but just think of the dramas that have gone on recently. Think of all the dramas that have gone on, you know, we've seen YouTube dramas with James Charles, we've seen dramas with leaks of um, exam papers, and there have been dramas going on in your school as well. Think about how much time you spent thinking about those dramas, watching videos about those dramas, looking at Instagram and Twitter and Facebook to see what is happening with those dramas, and Think about how much time you spent worrying about it and not revising because these dramas, they're just a time suck. And all that time that those dramas have sucked out of your life, you're not going to get back. You're not going to be able to spend that time revising. So all I'm saying is put the social media away and ignore the drama for the next few weeks. There will be new drama over the summer. And the good thing about leaving all the drama to the summer is that you can binge on it all at one go instead of just seeing it come a little bit by a little bit. The next thing I want you to do is ignore all the rumours. Now, they are, I know this is kind of tied into the first one, but every single big exam we see rumours of leaked exam papers and they're just rumours, so please ignore them. Next one is also not going to be a popular one, um, but it is really, really simple, it is really, really easy, and it will have a big impact on your grades, and that is go to bed early. And I do mean go to bed early. Stop revising about 9 o'clock, 9.30, and then, like, do nothing. And by do nothing, I don't mean, like, sit on your phone looking at social media because we've already talked about how that is bad and that's just going to suck you in and I don't mean like you know go out for a run or something because that's not necessarily a great last thing in the evening I mean sit down with a book just like veg out veg out in front of the television just do nothing for half an hour an hour let your brain decompress and stop stressing about all of the things that have been going on and then Go to bed by 10 o'clock. I know. And I, I know this is going to be different. I know this is going to be painful. But I'm not asking for you to do this for every single day for the rest of your life. I'm not asking you to do this over some holidays. I'm just saying for the last few weeks of your exams, please, please, please get a good night's sleep. I do not want comments on my YouTube channel at like 2 o'clock in the morning going, start revising for today's exams, wish me luck. I'm like, yeah, good luck, but you really should be in bed asleep, so please go to bed early. And then the last thing is look after yourself. Um, you've been working so so hard, I can see that, and I am really really proud of you. But you need to take some time away from revising, and you need to take some time relaxing, you need to take some time to eat proper food, and I don't mean like downing a large bag of Skittles because that is not going to give for you. I mean like, you know, boring, sensible food like Weetabix. Not sponsored by Weetabix. Um, but please look after yourselves. Take some time out to do some non-revision things. See your family, see your friends. Give a walk, go to the shops, walk the dog. 
do things that aren't revision and then eat sensible food so look after yourself and like i'm saying guys these are not massive lifestyle changes that i will need to make forever and ever and ever we are really really close to the end of the exams and all of these things you can do really really easily and they will have a positive impact on your grades so we're nearly there guys we are really really nearly at the end um and we can do this <laughs>